Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this particular tutorial, we are going to talk about a wonderful service, which is AWS Single Sign-On. AWS SSO or Single Sign-On is a service which AWS launched to actually solve the problem of big customers which AWS has got. Now, we have already discussed many of the times that it is not possible for you to just go ahead and you know, satisfy all the requirements in your organization with the help of one AWS account. So you tend to go ahead and have multiple AWS accounts. In enterprises, it is very common to, to see that people would have things like 50 accounts or 100 accounts or even more. And as you already know that the scope of IAM is within one account. So if we go with IAM users, you end up having so many IAM users, right? And it has got a lot of other problems. AWS SSO solves all that problem for you. And in this particular video, we are going to see and understand what SSO as a service is and how can you go ahead and set it up as well and make it work within your organization. So let us quickly understand first what SSO is and what problem does it solve. Now, as I said, big organizations, you know, tend to have multiple AWS accounts and they want a clean mechanism to log into different AWS accounts. AWS SSO comes into picture there. It is a free service from Amazon and it is backed by infrastructure running across multiple AWS regions. So you can think that this service is highly available and the infrastructure which is used or which is running the service is actually spread across multiple regions. Though when we move forward and you will see this in the demo that you will actually go to one particular region and launch the service. But as such, the infrastructure which is involved or which is used for the service is running in multiple regions. That's what AWS says. Now, having individual IAM users in every account, it's a tedious process and it's not a good practice as well. Why? Because it is possible that a person uh, who has got an IAM account in many of the, or I should say who has got an IAM user in many of the AWS accounts in your organization, if that person leaves the organization, his corporate account would get locked, which is normally there in Active Directory, but the IAM user has no linking to the Active Directory, isn't it? So if the person um, you know, still has got his IAM user and credentials, he can very well log in to your AWS account, which is not a good thing. You would not want that to happen. You want a mechanism through which you know, in an automatic manner, as the person leaves the organization, all his access to the organization assets also go away. And that's where we think about having one identity store or having one source of identity, right? Normally, when you go ahead and create a new AWS account, you tend to go, you tend to create um, IAM users and you operate with that. But in an organization setup, in a real uh, industry scenario, you would not do that, right? Because you would not want that every employee or every user has to, you know, has to remember one more credential for AWS, you know, basically the password for his IAM user. You would want, you would not want that, that users have to go through, uh, you know, remembering one more password and then rotating it at regular intervals and all, all that, uh, you know, additional headache. Now, with AWS SSO coming into picture, you can easily authenticate against your existing corporate Active Directory. It could be that you have a call, you have an Active Directory in your on-prem data center, or maybe you have an Active Directory running on cloud, maybe on Azure. You can go ahead and use it. And over and above that, now the good thing is AWS SSO supports Azure AD as well as an external identity source. You know, so it uses SAML to, to basically talk to Azure AD and it simplifies the whole process of authentication, right? Uh, you would still go ahead and manage the rights of different users across different AWS accounts at the AWS SSO level. Only the authentication part you are 
giving to Azure AD, right? So that's what we will see in our demo that we will actually go ahead and set up AWS SSO in such a way that it would use Azure Active Directory as the identity source, right? Now all your organization employees will surely have uh, have their account in the in the Azure Active Directory, and when you use Azure Active Directory as the identity source. You know, then it simplifies the whole process. As soon as a person leaves your organization, his or her uh, corporate identity or corporate account gets blocked or deleted, and then automatically that takes effect on the AWS SSO side as well. And we will see how does that happen. So, as we go ahead and look at the demo, you will see that there is something called automatic provisioning. This is a feature which will enable and after enabling this feature, what would happen is any new user or group which gets created on the AD side, you know, automatically flows to AWS SSO. In the same way, if a particular user gets deleted or gets removed from the Azure AD, that gets removed from the AWS SSO side as well. And it happens just automatically. You need not go and get into any manual intervention for this. So it kind of, you know, makes the whole process really smooth for you. Okay. The last thing to discuss here is something called permission sets. While we set up the AWS SSO, we will be creating something called permission sets. In very simple term, permission sets are nothing but a combination of managed and custom IAM policies. Right. So let's say you want to give permission to a user, John, right, to three different accounts. Maybe in the account one, he would have admin privileges. In the account two, he would only have read permissions. Whereas in the account three, he would just have, uh, you know, read permission. And in addition to that, support, uh, you know, support role as well, so that he can go ahead and create support related, uh, you know, uh, let's say support tickets he can go ahead and create he can look at the already open cases etc such type of activities you want to allow so what permission sets allow you to do is it allows you to go ahead and create such a group of permissions with the help of managed and custom IAM policies you can write the custom IAM policies of course and then you can actually go ahead and do a mapping you can say a particular AD user or group will have x permission set on account one and two let's say right for an example you can also go ahead and say a particular ad group will have permission set two to account number two and three so you can do this type of mapping and it becomes kind of very very flexible for you to go ahead and play with permissions and you know as and when you want you can change these things as well from a central portal which would be your aws sso portal Okay, so I hope you get an idea. You will become even more clear when you look at the demo. So let us go and get started with the demonstration. This channel teaches you AWS and Azure in really easy and practical manner. There are a lot of demonstration videos already on the channel. As you can see, a lot of professionals got benefited from our videos and you can read about them here. So if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.